All right, people, Stormox here. All right, here we go. <clears throat> All right, now, this is important, not important, whatever. But we got a lot of people that's worried about, oh, concentration camps, they're going to put us in concentration camps. No. They are not going to put us in concentration camps. They don't want us in concentration camps. They want us to go to work every day, pay their salary so they can make millions, billions of dollars, trillions of dollars. I know there's there there are many people that are trillionaires, but they tell you tell you no no no, this one has a uh, billion dollars, hundred thirty billion dollars. There's no way in the world. Like the the dude's name Jeff Jeff Bezos. There is no way. He started his company in 1999, 1998, and as of 2019, 20 or 21 years later, he is the richest man, person in the world at 132 some odd billion dollars. There's companies that have been around 200, 300, 400 years. These companies that make everything. Johnson & Johnson, Haynes, uh, brewing companies, bottling companies. There's companies that have been around two, three, maybe even 400 years. Now you look to see, well, what they want you to know, that they're the richest family company in the world? Hell no. For what? Why, why would you want to be on that list? Not nameless but faceless they have names match the face to to these companies who owns who owns this company don't know who owns that company don't know who owns the other don't know there's there's a name there it's a corporation who owns it is there a face that goes with it no so that's why they don't want you in concentration camps for what reason if you're in a concentration camp they're paying out money sending supplies doing whatever that agenda would be to get you into that concentration camp, what are they getting back? They're not getting back anything. You're in a concentration camp, you're not working. You're stuck in this little camp doing doing what? Getting sick? Eating, drinking, consuming. You're consuming supplies. Somebody had to pay for those supplies. Somebody had to do the logistics to move those supplies to that area. Now, if they were going to Put a bunch of people in one area concentration camp and kill these people or re-engineer these people to do their agenda why would they spend all that money oh they're going to get us vaccinated they want us to get vaccines where do you get vaccines at the hospital at the doctor's office when as soon as that woman pushes out that live birth bam vaccine vaccine is thought at how much you went to them they're not coming to you the vaccines are given and there you go you get more vaccines when you three four five years old vaccine 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 you go straight to them they're not paying anything for that and then you pay for it because what your insurance company these policies now how come when you go to the hospital baby's being born they want the mother just push this baby out most likely on some kind of sedative some kind of uh, painkiller not completely in their right mind all right here sign this well sign this do this well how come you don't let the father do it even if she says that is the father no 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 you just had the baby you have to we don't know who this is okay well granted and then what happens after that? She signs, boom, vaccines, baby is shot up. You don't know what's in there. It's a little vial. Might be this big, might be that big, might be this tight. Just this clear fluid, stick it right in the baby. Ooh, vaccines. But they say breastfeeding for six weeks gives all of the immunities the mother had to the baby just by breastfeeding. So why do you need a vaccine? Because if she got her vaccinations be passed on to the baby what's in there who knows but no they don't want us in concentration camps because we go straight to them and just hey put it in 
Well, you, you tell me that's what it is, put it in. Now, there's a quote by, I'm just gonna paraphrase, I don't even remember the man's name, I'm not gonna look it up right now. And it's kind of sexist. What a man learns by the time he is 20, or 20, is no longer relevant by the time he is 40. That's very true, because the things that you learn when you're young, okay, share, give, be nice. But by the time you're 40, it's like, no. Me, my family, and then what? Retirement. That doesn't include giving anything away, being nice to people. You, They tell you to step on other people so you can do this. You can go up. So what a man learns or what a person learns by the time they are 20, is no longer relevant at 40. Okay, and I'm, I agree with that, because what do we wanna do? We wanna get, 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 we wanna consume, we wanna go up, move up, move up, move up. Don't worry about that person over there, don't worry about that person over there, me, me, me. But in school, when you're a little kid, when you, oh, share, you gotta be nice to everybody, oh, it's a group, 40? Ain't no group, it's all about you. You gotta move up, move up, move up. Okay, so these concentration camps, no, they're not gonna come round us up to do what? To do what with? Now, maybe round up small group, they're not gonna round up everyone in America, in the world, in this hemisphere, or in this continent. Those people, they are happy with those people going to work and pushing their agenda. That's what it is. All these people go to work so these few can be rich and live lavishly. Okay. Now, stop fear mongering and saying all oh, concentration camps and they're going to do this and they're going to put this chip in us. They are not going to put, they already, where's the chip? We carry this around all day. That's the GPS. There, there's no reason to put a GPS in someone's body when everyone is walking around in the, uh, first world country, second world country, with cell phones, GPS included. Even if that location is off, it's right in there. Their location could be off. They still know where you are. You slide that debit card. They know what you're buying. They know your habits. They know everything about you. Dude, you don't need a GPS and I gotta put them in this little area. Now think about this. How often do you go out of your area, out of your zone? 52 weeks in a year for 50 weeks they know where you are going to be for those other two weeks when you put in vacation where what what did you do you let them know where i'm going for my vacation for these two weeks i'm going here because you did it three four five six months ago you paid for this trip to here and you're telling them exactly where you're going to be now that's what i don't get oh it's kind of we stay in this little three to five mile range. Some some are bigger. Some people have 20, 30, 40, 50 miles to commute every day. You're still in that little area. And where do you go? I go to the same stores every week. I go to this store, I go to this store, I go to this store, I go to that store. Once a month, I might go to that store. Once a week, I'm going to that store. Twice a week, I'm going to this, these two, three stores. You want to say they're going to round everybody up and put us in concentration camps? It's already been done. You have your house. Okay, you're in the house. They know where you are. Who's paying these bills? Okay, we know how many people are in the house. The census? We don't really need a census. That is just another, hey, what can we get people to do? Are they doing, have we explained it to them to the point where we made them think this is how it is? Yes, and they've done that, you know, with, without, without a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt in my mind. Hey, do this. Okay, got it. Do that. Oh, got it. But GPS in your body? You need a GPS in your body? This thing is no more than 50 feet from you 23 hours a day. Maybe you go to the gym, you go for a run, might be in your car. People think, oh, there's no GPS. There's a navigation system in your vehicle. Oh, people that don't have cell phones. You got credit card, debit card, bank account, social security card. That's linked straight to you. 
you know everything you're doing signing for you get gas you're paying for oil you're paying for heat you're paying for electricity you're paying you might not even have a cell phone but somebody in your family your kids cell phone you're paying that bill they know where you are already we are not going to concentration camps so please stop putting that out you can say this is a concentration camp i am